And she had one quote that she said all the time, and it was no excuses, just get it done. And that's kind of what we live by. She didn't care about anything else. If you had to get to study hall, you had to get to class, you had to get to practice, you had interview assignments, like, I don't have no excuses, just get it done. And that's how our work ethic was when we stepped on the court. Like, she was tough. She was, you know, she was older. She was older and a little frail, but she had some, she had some heart and some fire in it. She would just be, you know, you take, you piss her off, and she, next thing you hear is like, I'm gonna lie. And that was like the worst, that was the worst little home, you, worst little song you wanted to hear. Like, how she just on the line. You're like, oh, man. Like, but, um, you know, just in, she taught us how to be young women. She taught us how to be, you know, professionals as we started to venture off into our next phase of life, whether you were going to play basketball or you going into, you know, the real world and get a nine to five job. Um, and she taught, she taught us how to, have an amazing work ethic, no matter what. And so I always appreciated that because people always speak about my work ethic as a pro, as a professional, as an athlete, period. Like I was always in the gym, you know, crazy early. And I wasn't like a stay late, I was always crazy early. But when I was in there, I was in there. And once my time was done and I was finished and I was able to get on and, you know, get on with my life and do other things. So um, for that, Coach Gunner, I know you're listening. Um, you know, I'm thankful for that. and I really do you know appreciate it. I really wish she was here to see some of the stuff that I did because she really helped me even when it came down to like making a USA basketball team like I got that was the first team I got cut from and I just remember having a conversation with her and she was just like you know you can do it you you have to put your mind to it you have to put your heart into it you're gonna fail you got to get up you know type situation stuff that we've heard before but it's just a, a different ring that she had when she said it where I knew that she believed in me more than I believed in myself and my first time making the team was after we had that uh, had that very like intimate conversation so yeah.